staying with the Democratic Alliance, the party is sending its big guns to Motu in the KwaZulu Natal, uh, in KwaZulu Natal, ahead of next week's by-election. Party leader Musi Maimane campaigned in the area and called for the voters to exercise maximum restraint and ensure that the election is free of violence and intimidation. As the campaign trail thickens, DA supporters came out in their numbers to support the party's call for change, just a week ahead of the by-election. But they say their safety is not guaranteed. 33-year-old Zanele Masondu is one of the DA's councillor candidates. She says she was attacked for her political convictions. She says on the 18th of March, a man wearing an ANC t-shirt came to her salon, took her party billboards and threw them outside. When she went out to fetch them, he hit her. An act condemned by the DA. It's both in spirit and in law. You know, comparative democracy says that we must come and campaign without intimidation, without violence. And I call upon political parties across to say, let's uphold the spirit of our democracy. We can't be coming here mobilizing on race, um, in fact, creating conditions that are unstable, tribalism. We must ensure that people have exercised their right to vote without intimidation. KwaZulu-Natal ANC spokesperson Mdumiseni Ntuli declined to comment, saying the matter has not been brought to the party's attention. Maimani urged people here to vote for change. Thirteen political parties will be contesting the Ngutu by-election to be held next Wednesday.